Welcome back to Wolfenstein, the new Colossus. We can now explore the U-boat and talk with everybody without having to uh, deal with any Nazis. So let's take a look around. Talk with people, check out where they're, where they're living, see how we've made this place home. Our ultimate goal is to go to set and get a physical. They want to check up on how we're doing. But we'll get there in due time. This is Wyatt's place. Oh, it's Fergus. I wonder if you kept Fergus alive, if Fergus would have pictures of Wyatt. Probably. That is a very dirty flag. Listen to some of Jay's guitar tunes. Oh, what is that? Is that like a... A bird? I think it's a bird. I can't quite tell. Sets that way. Let's go there last. Whose place is this? Oh, it's our place. Looks so lived in. Yep, <laughs> pile of clothes on the ground. I know that. That's a sign of a real place where people actually live. Sewing for kids. Aw. Can I teach the kid how to sew? Or is that to teach... Maybe that's to teach Blaskowitz how to sew. I imagine Blaskowitz probably doesn't know how to sew. And they are childlike. <laughs> in there. Oh, some pictures of us. Oh, look at that. You got a big, big uh, bulkhead handle right there where you sleep. I bet they bump into that all, all the time in the night. Okay, Max. It's time. Max house. Hey, Max. Why you look so glum? Oh, no. I know you like Rosa, but this is the natural order of things. Don't make Max it do that. So humans can eat. Bedside. And we have run out of food for her. We only have people food left. No piggy food. Hmm. Max! 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 Hey, okay, Max. Max. Okay. Shh. For now, piggy will not be food. And wipe that sad look of your face. Hey, bro. Happiness is a choice, Max. Remember that. No, Smile. it's not. Hey. I think better be alive by the end of this game. Or I'm going to be very displeased. I think, well, I think Max drew this sign. Interact with Pig. Pet? Yeah. You look hungry, girl. <gasps> There's a side quest to feed Rosa! Hell yeah! Does it tell me, like, where to go? I don't know what I'm looking at. Wuh, buh, mm. That's gotta be Max, Mabate, uh, Wyatt. Okay, so those are people. So that's my quest objective right there, but I assume that's referring to the main quest, not the side quest, probably? Because it doesn't seem to change when I click these things, and I don't see any other quest marker on the map. I think? Anyway, we'll probably find it naturally. Oh! Oh, look at that. There's actually, like, fuzzy hair on it. That's a future graphics there. We actually get... Sort of real hair. That's a lot of grenades. Wait, is that grenades? I think it is. It's either grenades or it's like a pile of rotting apples. I knew I should have never let Max play with that piggy from the first place. 
Will there ever be a Bry now? Star card. Peter Goley. Is that a real star? Or just a made up one? I don't know. Some collectible thing. Yeah, looks like Bombate had some pictures of, uh, I think, I th if I remember right, when we first met Bombate in the prison camp back in the New Order, I think he said that he had been captured f fighting with the resistance in Africa, I think? So these are probably pictures from Africa, I imagine, with the resistance fighters, and I don't know, maybe that's his wife or something, or sister, who knows? Oh, this has got to be Max's room. Max sure likes his crayons. So colorful. What was that? Inspect. Oh. From Claus to Max. Max's happy birthday card. Did I just take the happy birthday card? I guess that makes sense gameplay wise because it's a collectible and once you have it and it's not in the environment you know you don't need to pick it up anymore but seems a bit shitty to just st steal the birthday card. I'm on the lookout for pig food. What do pigs eat by the way? I don't know, like, oh, It's the piggy. I'm not actually entirely sure what pigs eat. I think grain? I think they would like grain of some sort. Yeah, it's so cool. It's a German U-boat that we've commandeered for, I don't know, like three months or so now, I think. Something around there. And... It's been transformed into a makeshift home. This is a good home for us, Caroline. You always made the right call. Captain Blaskovitz. You look unhappy, Captain Blaskovitz. Don't lose hope. Gazella Balog. What I miss most is bottle of strong absinthe. I don't recognize them. Isabella Williams. I've got the sneaking suspicion that these are the developers, especially this one picture here. Hello, to you, Captain. Hello. Oh, oh, Seth's lab. Okay, multiple ways to get places. Makes sense. Quite decent. That's an interesting cat. Did Blazkowicz draw it? This game is so good looking. Look at how animated everything is. Just the amount of work that went into giving life to all this stuff and making sure that it's not static. So many blinking lights and scrolling things and radar moving. Brings it all to life. Oscar Oathgrove. Can't believe Caroline is dead. Who will lead us now? I think maybe Wyatt will? Interim leadership, you mean? Until we find some more suitable person? What do I know? I'm not exactly part of the inner circle. Your oh dear. This is not good. Not good for sure. Right, I forgot their name, but 
This is a group of, um, I, I guess, other resistance fighters that we joined up with, I think. Yeah, Sometimes I forgot what they were I called. Think about how it is like back in Sweden. Will I ever get to see the Skärgård again? Is that actually how you pronounce those words? I mean, I would assume so. If anything, I would think that Machine Games, who made this game, would get Swedish characters and voice acting and everything right because they're a Swedish company. Good day. Greetings. A General Engel destroys American terrorist hideout, 24th of June, 1961, Washington. An official spokesperson of the Osmerzer announced yesterday that General Engel had successfully bombed a group of wanted terrorists hiding in the Rocky Mountains near Denver. The cowardly terrorists had been on the run for several years after having blown up an American high school, which killed 58 innocent children. All terrorists were killed in the incredibly precise bomb attack led by General Engel. In a statement released to the press, General Engel thanked our beloved Fuhrer himself for his eternal wisdom in advising her to probe the area near Denver for leads, and commanded that the terrorists were located thanks to some patriotic... or commented commented that the terrorists were located thanks to some patriotic local civilians who understood the value of loyalty to the Reich. It is important that we root out the undesirable elements of our glorious society so that we may live in peace and aspire towards the greatness that we were destined for, said General Engel in a speech launching her terrorist hunting campaign almost half a year ago, today. Someone has drawn a pair of silly goggles, a big mustache, and a pipe on General Engel's face with blue and yellow crayons. Those all those uh, Germanized hit song records from the uh, the first game. Ooh, secrets! Heck yeah! Concept. Hmm. Whose room is this? Oh, this was... this was Catherine's, wasn't it? Yeah, I remember they liked to work out. And this is to help them get out of bed. Well, this is a sad place now. Juna's postcard. Caroline. Woke up by some noise in the catacombs. You speak in your sleep, did you know? Could not understand, but it sounded funny. Putting this card I found in your suit, hoping you will not discover it until much later. Just wanted to say thank you for everything. No matter what happens, they can't stop us. Juno, the postcard has no postal stamps on it. Caroline's Journal. After BJ killed General Strasse and freed the prisoners, it crippled the Nazis' research division. Slowed the Nazi advancement in tech research. If he wakes up, I will keep reminding him that we are forever in gratitude to him. The Nazis are demoralized, humiliated. But it's not enough. More is needed. The Paris mission was a success in some ways. It was the first step towards building the momentum we need to take on the Nazis globally. I just wish I could find a way to help Juna. The Osmercer has come awfully close the last couple of days. Worrying. Must speak to Set about this. What was in here? Special compartment. Oh, it's so red. I love just exploring this boat. I mean, this is a shooter, right? Mostly what you do is shoot, but it's nice to have these moments where I'm not shooting and I'm just looking at the environment, seeing how these people lived and what they've written in their diaries. Tommy Death. <laughs> Tommy Death? What kind of a name is that for someone who does... I mean, Death. I would expect them to look intimidating or something, but they don't at all. Secrets? What does that say? I can't read it, and I can't zoom in or anything. Ooh, Cantina. 
Maybe some food for the pig? I'm calling it the pig because I forgot its name. There's Anya. Oh god. What is this thing? I can't stop eating it. What, peanut butter? Peanut butter. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, peanut butter's pretty good. Glad you like it so much. Ready for anything, Don't sir. Don't forget to go see Seth so he can check up on you. Yeah. I'll see him when I'm dead. Oh, that's not sanitary. Oil leaking right next to food. Or whatever that is. The nasty goop. The oil, I mean, not the food. Oh my god. Ha we have this sort of food on board? This is a very strange machine, by the way. But also, we have this sort of food on board? Pie and pancakes and chicken wings and corn? That stuff isn't going to stay good for very long. That is some good food, though. Bulldog, did you check the second exhaust filter on Has 2? Of course. Of course, miss. Although always do what he promised. Hmm, bueno. You repair? Oh, no, miss. Bodo not repair. Filter was not damaged. New wires needed for controlling exhaust filters, see? Blue ones? No, 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 no. Brown. Oh, mierda. Okay, Boldo. I speak to Seth. Maybe we fix trip to steal more electronic parts for Nazi, huh? Okay, okay. Life is tough now. Boldo knows. Family killed during poor Amos. But life will get better, mister. Baldo trusts God. Mister trusts God, too. Uh, sure. I'm just wondering why you speak in the third person, Please. Baldo. Baldo maybe heard noises in water before. Uh, maybe nothing. Baldo Monsters in the water, water. check. Yeah. Club? Oh, there's gotta be food in here, right? Potatoes! Pigs eat potatoes, right? How many potatoes do I need? That's a lot of potatoes. Then again, that's a whole lot of pig. Whoa. Arcade. Maybe those are the developers. Could those be the developers? Who knows? I just assume anything. Pretty much any picture of a person in a game is probably the developers if it's not one of the game characters that you get to meet. It's a pretty safe bet. Eva's hammer. It looks kind of like a shark to me, especially this one from the top profile view. Reminds me of a shark. Jay would have liked it here. Francine Delacroix. Your voice tells me you are in great pain. That you are being eaten from the inside. What voice? This world is kill or be killed, monsieur. When I look at you, the voice tells me that bad is the greatest killer of them all. Okay. Oh. So that's how they've integrated Wolfenstein 3D in this one. You don't sleep, you just play it in an arcade machine.
Father Jacques' letter. Paris, November 10th, 1938. This was a while ago. Dear Maria, our home is lonely now that you've moved out. You give the house a warmth and spirit that seems to have decided to move with you. Me and your mother think of you all the time. We are happy. Have no fear. In fact, we are delighted for you. There's so much ahead of you, for you to see, for you to learn. You must concentrate on your studies now. Tell us how life is in Toulouse. Describe your day. We want to hear all. Have you heard about Germany? That buffoon won't last long. Uh, people must grow tired of his tirades. I suspect he'll be gone within a year. Oh, that's a sad letter. For a couple reasons. How you doing? Good to see your face. Yeah, so most of these people are people I've never met before. Oh, there's Jay! Nice. Yes, this is like Jay's... Jay's corner. Maybe this is uh, Jay's stuff, actually, that Wyatt saved. Wyatt said that they saved some of Jay's stuff. Bump. <laughs> what? Salut. Cinema. Where's all this go? I want to make sure I explore every place on this boat. Oh, I think that goes back to where I came from? But just an upper floor? My friend. Uh, this is probably just an alternative way back down, I would guess. Yeah. Okay. Let's check out the upper floor. Oh my god. Uh... You know, I tend to read everything, but I'm seeing, like, literally ten notes here. I wonder if these are maybe... Hmm. I wonder if these could have been from the first game or something. I don't know. I'll just read the titles. Irene Engel, appointed general by our beloved Fuhrer. Commandant Fisher's note. A no Nazi server technician's note. Um, I actually want to read this one. Alex, I know you think the Odin server system is ancient, but changing it is too big of a hassle. It would leave it too vulnerable. Some terrorists have already started learning how to break into other lesser systems that don't have the codes guarded by the Oberkommando. P.S. Found one of the hatchets that I was missing. We'll put it in the access hallway for now until I get permission to enter the armory. This... Hmm. That line about the hatchet sounds sort of familiar. But surely I haven't read it before. Toymaker opened store in Roswell. I wonder why they give you such a lore dump here. My god. I would say read the rest yourself, but I'd have to manually scroll through about ten different notes and I don't really feel like doing that. Sorry. I wish they didn't do just such a huge lore dump. I don't mind reading them at all if they're just occasionally around, but that is way too much. Okay, what does using this do? Hmm? Oh, strange. That's a weird way to integrate it. So, Freedom Chronicles is basically the DLC stuff for this game. I think most, if not all, of the DLC has been released at this point. And from what I've heard from reviews, it's not really anything worth your time, really. So I, I doubt I'm going to play any of it. I don't know what the simulations thing is, though. What is that? Those must be the challenge things that you unlock when you get through areas. Or to change the difficulty, leaderboards. Not something I have any interest in. How are you feeling in head, Mr. Stubbins? Good days and bad days, Irina. When I take my pills, I get a dreadful headache. And what happens, Mr. Stubbins, if you do not take your pills? Well, then I would enter a psychotic and paranoid state. My friends would become my enemies, and I would be a downright hazard to myself and everyone around me. I might be compelled to engage in incomprehensible manic ravings for hours on end while neglecting to eat, drink, sleep, or make use of the lavatory. My teeth would grind, and I would start chewing my own tongue. I would not be quite myself, frankly. Yes, Mr. Stubbins. 
And that is why you take pill even if head hurts. I will make you take pill even if it means I have to ask Mr. Captain Blaskovich to track you down and knock you out. I keep eye on you, yes? You are a right angel, Irina. <laughs> so is Blaskowitz what people invoke to like... As if you're like trying to scare a child into doing the right thing and telling them uh, the boogeyman exists. But I'm the adult version of it, Blaskowitz. Hello, Captain. Hello, Captain Blaskowitz. This ship is huge. Well, I guess it's a submarine, isn't it? Sets note. I am fascinated by the specimen vat Caroline seized at General Becker's base in Paris. It seems they're working on a new type of super soldier, but entirely for combat. It has distinct organic properties, but seems to be much stronger and durable. Biological, yet manufactured. This is not a grown person with altered physique, but something else entirely. I recognize the liquid preserving the body, based on very old dot you should technology. I remember experimenting with something similar, but cruder as a child, for preserving frogs and big beetles. It has completely cancelled the decomposition process of Juna's body and the other vat we placed in the storage room, holding it in a suspended state. Caroline wants me to leave her alone. I shall do she asks, of course. I see no hope, however. The girl is brain dead. Hmm. Interesting. Juno's the person that Caroline wanted to help, wanted to save, had a relationship with, obviously. And Juno's actually here? Just kept from decomposing in a brain dead state? Something must come of that, right? I mean, they can't just leave that alone. That's too weird and big of a thing. I was thinking, could they be... Could they be leading towards something where they, like, bring Caroline back through this magical technology? But how could they possibly do that? I mean, we don't even have... We don't even have Caroline's head. That... One of those giant soldier things, monsters, just stepped on it and squished it. I mean, it's not like we have a copy of her memories or anything. Not to mention, didn't we launch her body into the water? Burial at sea? So I don't think that's going to happen. I think that might be everything. Almost everything. I haven't explored down here. <laughs> Wanted poster for me. Sir? Do not doubt yourself, Captain. Any obstacle can be overcome with the right mindset. Everyone's really trying to help Laskowitz out. Like, trying to really Three pump things. him up. Al Sanchez. Okay, let's head to set. Oh, wait, before set, we gotta feed the pig, right. There you go. You happy now, pig? We should complete. Feed Rosa. Yeah, there you go. I wonder if that's going to affect the story. Maybe I'll get the good ending now. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, is that? Is that Juna? I don't think that's Juna. What the hell is that? It's a headless corpse, whatever it is.
Fred start. In sad times, I like to listen to music. Do you like music, Herr Blaskovich? Yeah. Whoa. No, 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 no! What the hell is that thing? This is not a thing, Shimshon. This is not a thing. This is this is the body of a squirrel monkey and the head of my beloved Siamese kid. Shoshana, look at you. He's not gonna do anything to you. He's a good man. You see, I, I found Shoshana hunting for rats in the reactor room when we captured the U-boat. A few months later, she was dying of bowel cancer when, when I stumbled upon this practically brain-dead monkey chewing on a blasting cap. And please do me a favor, Mr. Blaskovich, lower your ex. You're making me nervous. This is not only my, my favorite animal. This is most probably my, my most significant scientific achievement. Yes, you are significant. You, you're hungry? Here's a fish cake. You see, <clears throat> in order to do a cross-species head transplant, you need to A, bridge the spinal column. She's OK. B, harmonize otherwise totally recalcitrant biological system, respiratory and circuitry. Okay, I get it. Spare me the science, Mumbo Jumbo. What am I doing? I'm like an old catch cake who had such a long day, and I'm, I'm sorry. Let's see. You want something for the sleep, Ingle? No, no. I just need to keep busy. Distractions. Uh, no, I understand. I understand. We all grieve in different ways, but. I have a perfect distraction for you, Ingle. Look, a few days ago, Anya asked me to make a shooting range for the fighters on board. It's almost finished, but I was experimenting with an old German uh, drone for target practice when suddenly this fakakta machine went Adolf Hitler on me, started running Michigan in. So, I had to lock it inside. Do you mind going in there and destroying the drone? And, uh, Feel free to, to try my shooting range. Tell me how you like it. No, just, just come back. Give me your thoughts when you're done. Okay? Okay. I'll have a look. I appreciate it. Thank you. Wow, you... Please take care of the drone running a mark in the shooting range. Thank you very much. So that's really been up to some interesting science experiments. What an amazing animal. I wonder where it went. They're obviously setting up something to do with this head transplant thing. I mean, we have the animals that just describe the whole process. We have these vats. And then we also have the fact that we apparently have... Was it June? Juna's body somewhere in here? Also, apparently another body in this vat right here. Someone's body there. And also the fact that Caroline had her head cut off specifically, very specifically... They're obviously setting up something to happen with all of that. I'm just not sure exactly what. Sets note. Concerning Caroline's power suit, this armor Caroline wears is, I must say, beyond fascinating. Such details, such craftsmanship. Almost flawless in execution. A truly fantastic examples of dot you should engineering. I can't even stop looking at it whenever I'm around Caroline. Well, well. Created maybe around the 18th century. Very difficult to pinpoint exact date. I did hear about this when I was a little... Boychik. From stories told by the elders. Even a klutz could wear this and become the greatest athlete in the world. The engineers hid encrypted messages inside the lining of the suit, which I have been trying to decipher, but I have bupkis so far. Anyway. We'll return to it one day, if I have the time. Unknown Nazi scientist's note. Professor Schilling, following the catastrophic failure of the so-called crocoduck experiments <laughs> with genetically generated animal hybrids, a more crude approach was decided upon. Here I will detail the latest experiment for you. I want to see this crocoduck. <laughs> so today's head was removed carefully and placed in the vat containing the preservation liquid developed by the research team in Paris. Subject B's body was then taken out of its vat, which also has been preserved in the same liquid and prepared for conjoining. 
Subject A's head was subsequently attached to Subject B's neck. While there was movement, this seemed to be mostly reflexatory, and there was unfortunately no signs of consciousness from Subject A. The experiment was aborted, and it was determined that more research was needed. Specifically, more dot should parchments were needed to fill in the missing pieces of the puzzle. The note is bloodstained and incomplete, and written in the margins with Sit's handwriting. Must be the Draconian Theorem. We'll investigate. Ah, so that's one of the test subjects that the Nazis had put in there. That's what this body is. Not that that tells us whose body it is, but I guess it doesn't matter. Couple more notes. Caroline's note. Set. Here's my list of possible resistance locations as you asked. Manhattan, a radioactive wasteland, perhaps, but the information Juno discovered in Paris says Nazis have suffered losses in the area, which can only be explained by the presence of resistance groups. Where? Written in Set's handwriting. Must be somewhere higher up to avoid the radiation on ground level. We'll investigate. New Orleans. The name Horton comes up frequently in the Nazi intel from Paris. We know N.O. Oh, New Orleans. We know New Orleans is a ghetto where the Nazis place American dissidents and other unwanted elements of their society. Juna's resistance friend from Paris, Dimitri, he had a relative who may be part of the N.O. resistance. Appalachian Mountains. There's not much known about this. Nazis have captured several possible resistance members in the area, but have not found anything. If there are groups there, they may be dormant for now. If we manage to start a revolution in America, maybe they will wake up and join us. That is what I have. More details are in the information Juna gave me, of course. Come and see me if you want to know more. Set's Diary, April 5th. What a lovely day. People have been asking me all kinds of questions about the dot you should. They try to understand, I see this, but it is a challenge for them. I must speak like a child to them, leave out the complex, esoteric stuff. The Dot You Should is an ancient mystical organization. We existed before the major religions of the world. We think hard, do math, and build things to contact God. That sort of thing. I was sworn in as a boy chick, and I too had a difficult time truly understanding the Dot You Should. No, do, we do not want to control the world. No, we do not want to destroy the planet with superior technology. Yes, the Dot You Should is open to anyone with a curious mind who wants to reach God. But didn't you make clocks, Mr. Setroth? No. Yes, sometimes. A watchmaker was my cover long ago, for the war. Ah, well. Maybe they will understand it all, eventually. Now sleep beckons me. I must submit. Okay, nasty drone inside of there. Oh, there's the creature! Uh, hold on, so I haven't been here at all, right? Wait, what's that? I can spot a glowy thing anywhere. Oh right, I came from here, I went that way. So yeah, I haven't been over here. Hey! Where are you going? Oh, I'm totally gonna go find him. I can obviously go to try to try to pet him. This is a mini quest now. Oh, I'm maxed out. Oh, Jesus. Gonna make me chase you, ain't you? So did I have to go in there? Maybe the door wouldn't have opened. Where where is the door? Oh. Oh, that's the door. Yeah. Okay, I had to go that way. Okay. Ooh. Top score right now is Bombate. Alright, well, I think that's a pretty good place to end this episode for now. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to go chase down the drone. <laughs>